Subscribe now for exciting new videos. Lady Louise Windsor's Stunning Transformation Journalists around the world exclaimed, look how delightful she is. As they pointed to Lady Louise Windsor, the appearance of the Duke of Edinburgh's daughter at the coronation of King Charles III left a lasting impression on many. And it's no wonder, at just 20 years old, she possesses a great education, impeccable reputation, and the enchantment of youth. Lady Louise is already being hailed as the new rose of the royal family. Born prematurely and weighing only 2 kilograms, Lady Louise was welcomed into the world on November 8, 2003. Buckingham Palace announced her birth as Louise Alice Elizabeth Mary. Three of her four names are compliments to her family. Everything happened so quickly and unexpectedly that her father, Prince Edward, could not make it to her birth. He was on an official visit to Mauritius. By the way, even though Lady Louise hasn't had much time to make a name for herself, a lake in Canada has already been named in her honor. This gift was bestowed upon her in the province of Manitoba. Like all the girls in the Windsor family, Louise began equestrian training at a young age. Queen Elizabeth II stopped riding just a year before her passing, and Princess Anne, an excellent equestrian and winner of numerous competitions, including the European three-day event championships and participation in the Montreal Olympics. Following in the footsteps of her relatives, Lady Louise excels in horsemanship. After completing her schooling, she enrolled at the prestigious University of St. Andrews, where Prince William studied and met Kate Middleton. Louise is studying English language and literature and trying her hand at writing articles for the university newspaper. Louise rarely makes public appearances, but she cannot miss official events of the royal family. She served as a bridesmaid at Prince William's wedding and has been spotted at celebrations honoring Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. However, she mostly remains in the shadows. But her grand entrance at the coronation caught everyone's attention. Lady Louise's white and lilac ensemble, complete with a matching hat, was hailed as one of the most successful fashion choices. Newspaper headlines proclaimed, a new rose has blossomed among the Windsors. Indeed, youth and charm are the best adornments. Once upon a time, Princess Diana was compared to a rose when she first got married. However, in her childhood, the Queen's granddaughter was subjected to ridicule due to her crossed eyes. She struggled with this condition for several years, but there is no trace of her previous difficulties today. Currently, Lady Louise is 15th in line to the throne, but it is mostly a formality. Nobody seriously considers the possibility of Louise ascending to the English throne. However, her position allows her to claim the title of princess, royal protection, and a range of responsibilities to fulfill. Nevertheless, even this comes with challenges. King Charles III has expressed his desire to reduce the number of working members within the Windsor family. However, the king himself is not getting any younger, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Louise's parents, are also aging. Therefore, it is likely that they will have to make way for the younger generation. Kate and William cannot attend every event and fulfill all their duties alone, so some responsibilities may be delegated to others. Considering Prince Harry's departure, the king may well seek assistance from Lady Louise. After all, she has an impeccable reputation and receives positive reviews from the press. The only thing that occasionally sparks debates are Louise's outfits. It seems she doesn't always hit the mark with her wardrobe choices. However, with the help of skilled stylists and her ability to accept criticism, she will undoubtedly handle this aspect as well. As for her private life, nothing is known yet. The current princesses tend to start families closer to their 30s, so a big royal wedding in England may not be on the horizon anytime soon. What are your thoughts on Lady Louise Windsor? Do you think she has what it takes to become a prominent figure in the royal family? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more royal updates and fascinating discussions.